Something that people uh, back away from when they hear the phrase Christian nationalism is they'll say, well, goodness, what does that mean for Jews? What does that mean for Muslims? What does that mean for regular old agnostics and atheists? And my answer to that is it means what it has always meant, which is the greatest country on earth that people of all of those backgrounds seek to flock to. I'm making an historical observation that the United States political order has been Christian nationalism. During those centuries of Christian nationalism, plenty of Jews have flocked here, plenty of, of Muslims have flocked here, and plenty of atheists and agnostics as well. Be because uh, the, the idea of a Christian nation is not to say that we give uh, a preference or a special privilege to one religious group over another religious group. It's to say this is how we view the world and we're going to treat people with certain privileges and rights and dignity and all the rest of it based on our, our Christian view. So in practice, Jews, Muslims, atheists, agnostics will flourish much better under a Christian nation.